When we first started on a restrictive carbohydrate diet, Terry and I went into what normally you do. Oh, we can't have pie. Oh, we can't have pizza. And I thought, since I love to cook, I'm going to figure out ways we can. So I'm going to make a pizza today that has about two carbs per serving, and it tastes like any kind of pizza you'd get at a real pizza place. First of all, we're going to start with a tomato sauce that we'll make from scratch because the canned stuff has carbohydrates in it. And we will have the carbohydrates in the tomatoes, but that's all. Now we all know when a tomato looks beautiful, and these are gorgeous. But in a week or two, if I don't use them all up in salads and, and eating them fresh, they'll start to go bad on me. And instead of throwing them out when they, they look bad. I put them in one of these things that you wash your underwear in, one of these, and I freeze them. And, that, and I save them for making tomato sauce because your sauce doesn't know that the tomato looked crummy. And so I'm gonna make some tomato sauce now with this collection. This was probably, oh, I don't know, maybe two or three months worth. And so I'm just gonna put them in this pan I love that. I love making that noise. And then I'm going to add about a oh, quarter cup of water. And I'm going to let that simmer for probably three or four hours. I can add some spices, maybe Italian spices if I want it to be an Italian kind of spaghetti type sauce. Or I could add uh, taco seasoning to make it more of a Mexican flavor. And so put the lid on. Turn on the, the fire and let it simmer. And when, when it's all done, the skins just start, they peel off and it's, it's just, they're so easy to separate from the sauce. And then you blend it and you can refrigerate it for a couple of weeks. I'm gonna go take a nap now and you can see this when it's all cooked down. The tomatoes cooked for about four hours and then I fished out the skins. You can see them right here. They are so obvious, they're like, an eyeball on the sidewalk. They just, you can take tongs and just pull them out of the tomato sauce. Then I'm going to just pour the, what cooked down. You'll see, you saw all those tomatoes and it made this much sauce. And you can put this through a blender if you want to. I am just going to leave it like this, but because I don't want to get the blender out again, but you could put it through a blender. I added a little bit of Penzi Italian seasoning. It, it comes in a big sack and it's all dried oregano and wonderful things. It takes you right to Italy. And I put that in there and a little Lowry's to taste and salt and pepper. So I've got that tomato sauce ready to put on a pizza. It's Italian, so it'll be a great pizza sauce for our pizza. This sauce will last about two weeks in the refrigerator, and, but it won't last that long because we'll eat it, but it could be stored for up to two weeks. This summer, when, when uh, produce is very abundant and you can find tomatoes that are cheap, buy a ton of them and freeze half of them, and you can see how many you need to make just a about a cup and a half of sauce. But then you're having everything fresh, so you're not buying canned tomato sauce with a lot of stuff you don't need in it. You could put this over chicken, like chicken cacciatore, because it's a, it's a tomato-based dish, and it has a wonderful Italian flavor with that Penzi Italian spice. Now I'm gonna make the crust, and it's two cups of Parmesan cheese and one half cup of almond flour. Almond flour is just almonds ground up until they turn like flour. So I'm going to put the two cups of Parmesan in a bowl and the half a cup of almond flour and mix that up. That's all there is to the crust. So you'll see what happens next. Get it all evenly mixed. Then I'm going to turn my frying pan on and I'm going to put 
the mixture in the frying pan. And I have the frying pan on about medium high. A little more medium than high. When it starts to sizzle, you'll hear it. You can start kind of forming the edges of it. There are zero carbs in Parmesan cheese. I fried up about a pound of Italian sausage. It's going to be way too much for this size pizza, but it's a real nice thing to snack on while you're making other things in the kitchen. And there are no carbs in this Italian sausage, so I can snack on it all day if I want to. As it's cooking, you want to work the edges, so just, just kind of keep working it. I can't wait for you to serve this to your family. So I'm ready to flip this. Oh, okay. Ah, damn it. I think I have to do it with this. I usually do it perfectly. It's just the pressure of television. No, it's just the pressure of internet. It takes about five to six minutes on each side for the crust. And then once it's cooked, I put it on a cookie rack to let it cool and it'll get crispy, chewy and crispy. So I'm ready to build the pizza and here's our Italian tomato sauce, pizza sauce, all cooked down, just the right consistency. We're going to put it, put our crust right on the cookie sheet. We're going to bake this for a little while just to heat it all up. So I'm going to put the tomato sauce on the crust. Oh, there's a the skin that stayed in there. See what those skins look like? Then I'm going to put this Italian sausage on. Just put it over. About a cup's worth. This is going to have so much meat on it that this will be enough for both of us. But you could make smaller ones and have them individual so you can kind of customize them. So I'm going to do some salami. This is dry salami. And some pepperoni. Oh, is this a paleo? pizza. Then I'm going to put olives. There's one carbohydrate to three olives. You could top this with cheese, but I'm not going to because my husband can't eat cheese. So he can eat Parmesan cheese, but he can't eat other kinds. So I'm going to, I think I'll put some on half because I want cheese on mine. This will go in the oven just till everything warms up. I'd say five minutes at 400. So I have leftover Italian, um, it's like a spaghetti sauce, pizza sauce, and I have these olives left over. I'm going to put them in there, and I'm going to put some of this leftover Italian sausage in there. And this just mixed up, I'd refrigerate it. It would be so good over scrambled eggs in the morning because this would just be a, a nice topping. Now the pizza crust I made, you don't have to make a pizza. You can just make it as a, a, a wonderful um, crackers or these are breadsticks. You just slice them this size and they can start to get after a day or two, a little wilty, you just put them in the oven and they'll crisp up again. You can cut them up in squares and use them as croutons or put them in soups, um, French onion soup, and use this as the crust. So, ready to bring this out.
There it is, low carb Pammy's Pizza. Your family and friends are gonna beg you for this recipe and they're gonna beg you for the pizza.